Hello everyone and welcome to this week's portrait. I want to thank you all for your positive feedback on my first video with the commentary. It is very appreciated. Uh, this week's portrait is of a beautiful doggy named Griffin, who also unfortunately uh, passed away. Uh, this portrait was commissioned by a friend as a surprise for the owner. Okay, let's get into this week's illustration. As you can see, first I draw the background because that makes it easier to come back later and draw the details on the subject's edge. Uh, things like fur lines, whiskers, and more fur lines. I then like to fill in the face, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and this gives me a good idea of where I'm going. Uh, then I'll fill out the rest of the outline with a uniform color. The next step is adding some light shadows on the subject. Uh, in this case, because he's a light colored dog, I use darker colors to blend in a base where the shadows will be. In the case of a darker color subject, I will use light colors to determine the shadow and light of the fur. You can see that I did this around the eyes, on the chest, ears, basically everywhere where there will be a shadow. It's not meant to be perfect at this point, this is just the base on which I will add details and darker shades of color later on to uh, emphasize the shadows. Uh, the fur is built up in layers, using the same color but in different shades. Um, this gives me a more natural look in my opinion. Another topic that I would like to hit on is that people have been asking me how I determine proportions, so this week we'll also talk about that a bit. Uh, the truth is that I don't really have a formula when I draw. I don't use a grid or a ruler, the complete drawing is done by eye. Um, I estimate the distance between each element and pay attention to the location of the last point, point that I drew. For example, um, in this drawing the nose is placed in relation to the right eye and ear and everything else around it. Well, that's going to close out this week's video. If you guys have any questions that you would like me to answer, please leave a comment below. I'll be happy to reply. I want And I want to thank you once again very much for watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed it.
I'd appreciate your liking this video and subscribing to my channel. See you next week everyone. And in the meantime, here's another one of my videos that you can watch. Bye bye.